Hello folks, Sam from the Giant Tortoise Farm again. Here today with the Matthew family. Logan, Matt, and... Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm Shannon. Uh, here today with Adolph. This is the 105 year old Galapagos tortoise. We just threw a pumpkin out. It was pretty neat because he just started nailing the pumpkin. We didn't cut that pumpkin or anything. That's a little bit of environmental enrichment. You know, letting him work a little bit for his food. So, uh, you had a question, Matt? Um, you know, you say we're saying he's a hundred and five, yeah. five, yeah. hundred and five. Wow, that's just, that's just amazing to see uh, tortoises grow this old and this big, too. I mean, I, can, I can't imagine what I look like next to him. <laughs> yeah, hey, maybe we can pick this pumpkin up. We can get a little better idea of his size. Yeah. Because this, this will, hey, yeah, now you got, now we have his attention. Here we go. Let him, let him stand up there. Stand up. Let him reach up though, let him reach up. Yeah. There you go, okay. that's it. Oh. There you go. There we go. Oh, he's got a big mouthful there. Yeah, he's got it there. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> it's so crazy, isn't it? The strength, the strength it's... of their neck. Oh yeah, I can they feel can we'll pull, feel. Yeah, he can, pull it, he can pull you right off your feet. It's oh yeah. It's amazing, you know. It is, this is amazing, watching him just pull on it. He's yeah. pulling me down with him. And that's one of the greatest things here. You know, we get to see a little bit of Darwin's theory of evolution, uh, selective species here. And this particular type of tortoise, uh, the genetics of this particular type of tortoise, what's called um, the Geochilean um, vincina, is that the end of their shell tilts up a little bit so that it allows them to reach that height to pick leaves. <laughs> wow, he got that, huh? He got that it's all a right. design flaw there somewhere. <laughs> So that's one of the neat things that you see in Galapagos tortoises. Because he is a vincina, his shell tilts up, allows his head to go way up and eat vegetation off the tops, the tips of the bushes and the trees. So that's an adaptation and, the, and Darwin realized it and that's what led him to his selective species about how the, each different island had a different shaped tortoise which functioned for its better survival within that environment. So that's a Vincina. We're gonna take a look at some others over here from the Santa Cruz Island. Bernie is from the Santa Cruz Island. We'll compare those differences and see how physically they look different. Okay, sounds good. When even, you're though, ready. even though they're all part of that uh, a Galapagos species. They're all actually different species, but they're all Galapagos. <laughs> hey Logan, this is the one that you love so much. Tank, the, the wider one, lower dome, you got a little, a little flatter looking. Wow, look at it. Isn't this awesome? Yeah, he's pretty neat because if you just keep scratching him, he'll just sit there. Yeah. And you can reach down, you can scratch a little under his neck. Oh, oh he's on the move. He's on the move. He doesn't he won't get... he won't bite you. No, I am not I'm not worried about him biting. I just I didn't want to bother him if he was on the move. <laughs> I don't he likes to get scratched would... too, oh. you know? Yeah. Right here, I don't just think like this. <laughs> no, you don't want to get stepped on by those feet. He weighs 565 pounds. Woo. And we were talking about Galapagos and Aldabra. Oh, right here. And you take a look at the head now, yeah. you can really see the difference between the Galapagos head and that Aldabra head. Absolutely. More pointed here. You pay, hey, hey, we're, we're paying you overtime for this. You're <laughs> a little bit more cooperative. He's on the move. Oh, he's, he's enticed over here. What did we expect, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's, he he's, sees that big pumpkin and he's like, huh? oh, watch him. let me in on that. Yeah. They're very attracted to the colors of food. So reds and yellows and reds. Okay. Attract them. Uh, and and hey, look at this is all. Look how different they have different behaviors. Yeah. Come on, Oliver. Settle down. He's trying to ram it. He's trying to ram it. <laughs> you like, you poking on me. Okay. Looks like he's trying to get over there to crush it, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there now it is. Now he's stepping on it. Yeah. Whoop. Come on, Oliver. You gotta work for it a little bit. He definitely seems like he wants to break that, don't you think, Mario? Yeah. Thank you. 
tried stomping it, but it rolled away on him. Yeah. Hey, what he's thinking? I can see. I can see what he's thinking. <laughs> How about one of you guys? Yeah. <laughs> let me in on this, you know. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't want anybody else to take it either. That's no. why he's kind of choked in on it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see it's if we can. I don't know if we can bounce this off the ground and get it partially open. Oh, there we go. This is what you're looking for, buddy. Right here. Here. There you go. There's the, that's the ticket. <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> he slipped out of Hang on to that one. No, slipped out of my hands again. Here, let's see. Oh, now they're getting excited here. There we go. That's the Galapagos in the background breeding. Wow, he's gotten bigger, you know? He really has gotten bigger. He must yeah. be, he's eight inches off the ground on that leg. Did you see that? <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh, man. Wow, Woo! that's the way he leans. He leans. He's just holding himself there, too. Yeah. So strong. So strong. Wow. Oh. Wow. You want to try, Logan? You want to try? You just have to hold it up for him. This is like a pumpkin mash, huh? Yeah, how about it? See? He's coming in for it. There you go, see? Wow! Wow! Ah! Yeah. There. There you go. There you go. You like this? Oh! You can circle around right that there. way, too. Oh, oh there wow, you go. That's a big shot. bite. There's a big bite. Here you go. Get your hands back here and just hold it for him. Oh, he's going to work that piece, I think, for a second. Yeah, he's going to... Here. He's going to... That's gonna the ticket. Get him from the side. There, oh, there you go. I thought you were going to pull on that. Yeah, they don't bite. No. They're not interested <laughs> in biting people. No. You know, they're not predators, so... They're defensive. The last thing they would want to do would be actually to bite you, because the only thing they're thinking about is how to get inside their shell faster for mm -hmm. protection. And that's the reason you hear that hiss noise. Shh. It's throwing all the air out they of the lungs. They've got to let the air out of the lungs so there's room to pull the head back. And that's the reason they make that noise. For them, it's all about how fast can I get in my shell. <laughs> and then he can die out there. That's yeah. really what they think, because he could sit here for a year and not eat, not drink. Want to get in there, Phil? And okay. he'd still be alive. Yeah. We we would have to we would die a long time ago. Which is actually whew, which is actually what happens in Africa when the lions attack the sulcatas. They'll attack them and they'll start biting at them. And I've actually had some uh, sulcatas back oh 30 years ago that I imported from Africa. And you would you would see claw marks and scratch marks on the sulcatas wow. from the lions trying to get into the meat. But what happens after a period of time, the lion says, nah, this much trouble to get that much meat right. isn't worth it. And the tortoise will sit there, it'll sit there as long as it has to. But, you know, a, a lion only has a very short time that he can ex uh, expend that much energy to do something. Which is the whole evolution. That's the whole reason for reptiles is that they don't need any extra calories to burn to make heat because they get their heat from the sun. In humans or other types of animals, we have to use food, extra food, burn it up, just to raise our body temperatures. But they use the sun. They're solar powered. Yeah. They're actually solar. ahead of their time. They're solar powered, huh? They're, they're solar. Reptiles are solar powered. Wow. Pretty yeah. cool, huh? That's why they sit out and sun themselves. Yeah. When you say sun themselves, you're, you're, talking, you're right. They spread their arms and their legs out because they want to get as much of there that heat, that sun, to there it is. their body. There it is. That's wow. the big one. <laughs> that was a big one. We're making short work of that pumpkin, oh, you know? yeah. You still want this one, huh? Yeah. Oh. Sound like I pull it out of your hands. Oh, oh man. Something's not working. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> Want to get in? Here's the big piece. Okay? okay. You, keep, you hold it like this. Finger back, and then just perfect. There you go. <laughs> How you doing, baby?
big guy. Hey, Bernie. All right. Here, you want to come around this side? Come around this side. She's over here. Here. Keep her right about there. Let her come up and get it. Oh. Okay, one second. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you stand up. Stand up and she'll come up for it. Thinking about it. It's well on the last piece. Oh. Now oh. you're seeing the difference between the way the males and the females eat. Yeah. The females are much more cautious, much more <laughs> gentle. Right. Oh, yeah. She, she's a little more, uh, yeah, like you said, timid and. Yeah, timid, exactly. Kind, kind of just more reserved. Yeah, and then exactly uh, the, guy, the guys right. are just. <laughs> they're, pig, they're pigging out. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times the females will wait till after the males eat and then they'll go, they see the males, they go, they sit down on the couch and they start watching TV and that's when the females get, head over to the food plate that's to, right. eat, to eat whatever is left over. <laughs> that's right. Y'all see they're coming from war now, see? Just, just get away from the males after a while because the males are always jumping on them and Pretty ramming sure. them and everything. So, there you go. There you go. There you go. A couple more I've raised from hatchlings. Wow. Oh, man. Gorgeous animals. Gorgeous. She doing good, Olga? Like, yeah, marks here and stuff. Is that from them crawling around and getting stuck on stuff? Right. Like chips a little this, bit? this was a fungal infection and it oh, ate okay. a hole in the shell. Oh. So I cured the fungal infection and then I just put a little bit of black epoxy in there. Okay. I actually made a video on that. Uh, and I'm going to sand this now, and that's the way I just repaired that. These other, there are other patches here. If you take a closer look, you can see, Mario, if you want to come in. See, these are fiberglass patches here. And these fiberglass patches are, are just prophylactic. It's because the males ride the females so much, mm -hmm. they'll dig a hole through their shell. Wow. So their claws gripping here. Right. If you take a look here, see all of these wear marks? This is the male mounting the female, all of this wear mark. See, so what are you doing? Ooh, that's what helps wear their shells smooth. That's why you can't see any ridging on there. Right. Like you can. You see the males, how you can see the ridging? Yeah. Because there's nobody it. mounting him. Right. Right. Yeah. Takes a toll on the shell for sure. Incredibly strong. You know, uh, they only weigh around 300 pounds, 280. And I've seen them drag the male, who's almost 600 pounds, all around the yard. <laughs> If he, if he wants the mater and she doesn't want, she'll just drag him around the yard. <laughs> yeah. And, Everyone's you know, getting exercise. And, you know, he's, <laughs> she, the big lug is on her back, and she's that strong to drag him around, you know. So <laughs> that shell is really thick, you know, that, that shell, which is an, an, an interesting uh, design to begin with, you know. That shell is uh, actually like this. Uh, plates. Uh, uh, what we call, uh, there's bone plates there, and those bone plates have fused with the backbone and the ribs. So what you have there is a bony shell structure, and then that is covered over with uh, this uh, a skin, and then it's covered over with this keratin, which is only about an eight to a quarter of an inch thick, depends on what spot you're looking at. Um, and that's just this, this thin layer, but that's the reason they can feel, that's the reason they're sensitive to when you scratch them, mm -hmm. because they have nerve endings in that bone that are just about an eighth of an inch underneath the surface. So it's a composite design, it's very strong. It's uh, about 30% of their body. Typically, a, t a typical tortoise weighing 100 pounds, a shell with the skeletal parts is about 30 pounds. Wow. A lot of tortoise, a lot of the tortoise weight is actually, um, is actually the digestion is the food that's in the system because they have a very slow moving system because of the kind of food they eat. They eat grasses and cactuses and mm -hmm. hay and stuff like that. That food takes a long time to digest. It takes a long time to break down inside their GI system. And their GI system moves very slowly to be able to get the, all of the nutrition out of that matter that you can. Wow. Wow. It's, they're loving these pumpkins for sure. They're loving these things. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's your bite. There's a good part. 
Oh, you got it. All right, I'll let you guys have that. So Logan, we're here today on a giant tortoise farm. We've got a chance to see some of the tortoises. Tell us what you thought. You know, you have a good eye. You're right. You knew they were sulcatas, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, where did you learn all of that? Where did you learn all that stuff about tortoises? You seem to be very knowledgeable. Um, we have some at home. You have some at home. All right, good. Today, you know what? You're king of the hill. I guess so. <laughs> king of the hill. <laughs> okay, just go on the shell there. Let's see if you get any customers. Let's see if you get any takers yeah, here. Do it on the shell. See, see. Start on the shell. Oh, I think oh. he's starting to respond. Look at he's Bernie. He's definitely starting to respond. <laughs> You've got the touch, Logan. Ber Ber Bernie's standing tall. Here, get the back of a shell over here. Get all, oh yeah. Yeah, just oh. the whole thing. Oh man. You gotta walk yeah. around this shell so big. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got the hose out here. We just need some suds. What does this remind you of, Logan? Car wash. That's right. Reminds you of like you're washing your car out there, right? <laughs> Instead, you're washing something else. A tortoise. Yeah. Yep. Big tortoise. Big, beautiful. Look at this guy. He's got a great shell. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you can just lightly run that over his face, too. Lightly. Get some of the pumpkin off him. Yeah. <laughs> right over here on his mouth. You want, you can, you can rub his mouth if you want. Is that all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay, fine. Just, go ahead. Just rub his, his beak in his mouth with your hands. Like this. Just, oh, hang on. Oh, no. Nope. Hello. He, he was, uh... Oops. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> it's a little hot anyway, we gotta cool off. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just gonna have to take the wash, but he's not gonna yeah. let us uh, touch yeah. his. No. Yeah, it's okay. I was trying to get the stuff off your nose, yeah. buddy. Just trying to get the stuff yeah. off your nose. In, in, in three minutes or five minutes, he'll let you do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Look at how big the shell on these guys. Logan, feel their shell like this, how thick it is. Here. Right in the front. Right in the front. Feel it? Yeah, that? that's it. Feel how yeah. thick that is. Feel that. Is oh. that crazy? Yeah. Much thicker than you thought it would be, right? Yeah. I feel I feel it's really, really thick yeah, in the front. Yeah, the ends are really thick, but they'll... You know, that's a great idea. I didn't even realize we missed one. We missed one. We missed one, folks. Yeah. Let's come over here. We've got to get somebody that's really uh, been proved and that knows how to do this, though. Here. You want to get it? We got somebody. We need somebody who knows what they're doing. That's right. We don't want a newbie here. That's it. Logan's got it. Wow. Oh, yeah. I've got some guys here. They're struggling <laughs> with this, you know? <laughs> What do you do on the weekends, Logan, huh? <laughs> kind of party out, huh? Yeah. yeah you hang out with your tortoises at home, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we can get them to come by on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, come by, get them to do a little scrubby scrubs. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Huh? <laughs> this is awesome. This is great. You're going to get Bernie again. Going to get Bernie. <laughs> Good job, Logan. Yep. Good job, buddy. Back into it. <laughs> yeah. Nice little bath they're getting. You know, when it's really hot, boy, they really, really love it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Today they're just uh, enjoying the uh, attention. Yeah, yeah, the attention, the pumpkins, and yeah. all the treats they're getting. They're like visitors again, we're getting treats. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. You want to get that stuff? No, not ready for me to clean your face. Okay. Flavor saver for later. 
Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. Where you going, girl? Where are you going? You all done with the pumpkins for now? Yeah. Yeah. Logan, yeah. what's next on the list? What are you up yeah. for? Logan. Thinking. Can I, get you, can I get you mic'd up, Logan? Here. Hard decision. That's a sulcata tortoise, but do you notice something different about it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I see it. Hmm. You seem to be on the money. What are you thinking? Hmm. I think it's a pointy in our nose. One, two, missing a few. Here's the last one. Right. It's missing two of those um, vertebral scutes, as we call them. There's supposed to be two more right here. And it has this unusual pattern, this unusual design that you don't normally see. You go here, get one over there, Mary. Just kind of zoom in and you see what a normal pattern looks like. See how they just go all the way down the back like that? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's, it's interesting. Had, because when you were looking here, you were tracing. Yeah. You, saw, you, you, you had the toward, idea. It was, I was going for this was pointier. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, so oh, you'll get, we got one point, two points, and then there's one one back here. But uh-oh, we're missing a couple. Missing. Two are missing. So what do you think about that? That you is... Think that, that gives her a handicap at all? Wow. I, I, you know what I think? I think it makes her special. Yeah. Yeah. It makes her a little bit better than yeah. everybody else. Well, a little each, bit special. each tortoise has something different about it. Just like every person too, right? Yeah. yeah. Just like the world. There's different tortoises and they're different people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. makes a society. That's it. Even if they're the same kind, they still have different, you know? Personalities. Yeah. Right, different attributes, different personalities. Some have longer necks, some have green eyes. Yeah. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. That was a good catch. Let's go this way. See what Pretty we cool. Find. Be nice sitting outside having on sand. He just talked about sand. Hang on, hang on. Logan feels something. Sand. Sand. Yeah. Well, why yeah. do you have it here? Something. Huh. I have no idea how that sand got there. <laughs> none, none at all. <laughs> Actually, I wish it wasn't there because it's killing my grass. <laughs> hey Mario, do you have any idea how that sand got there? <laughs> I have an idea. Have, have an idea or two. <laughs> <laughs> I actually came from the construction here. I'm picking up the lane boxes. Those are the lane, those are the the lane boxes. Okay. Why didn't we bring it all over here? I, I, I'm... Well, he's working that. He's going to work that. He's going to work that angle. Maybe he's going to work that angle. Maybe this is just grabs him and brought it over there or something. After yeah, maybe so. Uh, it's that one, right? Yeah, all of them. Look how sad they look. No pumpkin for them. Yeah. Maybe we should give them some. You think you can find some? Uh. Why don't you run back there and see if you can find a piece? Go find a piece, buddy. I'm too old to run back there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here. here we go. Here we go, Logan. Here. Thank God, Logan's here. You found a piece. Where'd you find that pumpkin? Oh, it was out in the field. Over out there. in the field, he found a pumpkin. And now he's going to be giving some of it over here to some of these. These are four year old out of average. You want, you want to feed it to them? You want to feed it to them? Oh, okay. I'm not sure they'll take it by hand. Mm, I don't think he's so sure about that. Not used to being hand fed. This one, yeah. You just have to give him like a minute. Look, look at them coming. Yeah. You, you don't, they can smell. Yeah, they have so. such an incredible sense of smell. Do you want to set it down, Logan, and see if they'll, they'll go, go get it? Yeah, we'll put it right there. 
Oh, there. Uh oh. There it is. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm smelling it. They are reacting to it. That's for sure. Hey, Mary, you think, why don't you grab one and give me the. You can get Mary. You can give this to Max. Bring him out. I'll be the videographer. Sure, now. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Look at what he's doing. He's thinking about his new profession. Look, he's getting they... out of the Coast Guard and he's going to be a video artist. <laughs> he's videos on YouTube. Yeah, and I think they started trying to dig him out there. Right there. They tried to dig out. Yeah. Loving well, the detail of everything. Looks like this. nothing happened there. The sound. The yeah. Sound. The, the sound, sound of crunching. Hey, guys. Nice shells there, huh? Oh, yeah. There's one beautiful in the corner back here. Hey, guys. How about that? They just bite and swallow. Yeah. Even his little or smaller ones got a lot of power to them. Yeah, they do. You'd be surprised if you get your fingers stuck in there with the shells <laughs> when it pulls in. Yeah. You hurt your fingers. You can't pull them out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna throw half over there, half over there, smash it on the ground or something. Smash it better. Can't find a place to put it. Just one thing, Mario. Max said he's not giving up his job too easily. <laughs> <laughs> Just smash it right there. Get somebody else awake here. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's over here playing basketball. <laughs> he's still, still going. All right, let's see if I can slam it. There, there it is. Ooh. That's a good one. And a piece further back there. That'll get some of those guys out. Leave it there. I can smell that now. Yeah. Are we going to give them some? Good point. <laughs> Everybody deserves some. You want to go spook some out? Yeah, let me see if I can wake some of them up. Hit the dinner bell, Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Something special here. <laughs> There's a one hiding in the corner back here. Oh, we got the little one on the move. They're like, oh. It's like a charge now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Guys, no, no, no. There is someone back here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Logan, why don't you get in on the action? You want to do some videoing? You want to do a video, Logan? Oh, it's on the move, Logan. You scared it. You scared it out, buddy. And now it's like, ooh, I smell. It's something. on the move. Two years old, right, Sam? Four. 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 Four
today, folks, on the farm, Mario wants his videographer job to Logan. Logan's going to be staying with us, and he's currently doing the video on the thing, doing the video recording of this Aldabra collection. He's a four-year-old. Let it roll. Go ahead, Logan. <laughs> Well, and get lower so you can see them. Watch your fingers, don't cover the lens. Yeah. You had a moment. Lower's holding you. Yeah. Now they're getting into it. Yeah, they're all into it. You got, you got to thank you for waking me up because they're all getting on it. Yeah, so right now we're just looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 animals. Good. You know when they become giants? <laughs> that's going to be that's going to be a very very just imagine just imagine them. you know i've seen them change from little tiny animals and then go through that whole process of, of growing up and right. they become they become so massive so immovable you know i see them they, they hardly fit through the alleyways right you know yeah and you can't pick them up you can't move them you know you've got to learn how to work with them to move things around right but it's just really been special to, to see them grow and that's kind of what's neat with, with the children you know you raise them up 60 years later they can still have that tortoise you know? yeah and i have customers and friends that have tortoises from their grandfather oh my goodness yeah. so, you know what sometimes happens, unfortunately, but it's get time to get to the third or the fourth generation. They're not so into it anymore. It's something that lives in, in you know, Aunt Rosie's house. Yeah. And they, they don't have, but for a time there, I mean, it's an heirloom. That's Absolutely. Passed down because a lot of people will buy one when a baby is born. That's the latest thing. Well, we're going to have a baby. Let's go out and buy an Aldabra. Well, the Aldabra is going to live for yeah. 100 plus years, a couple hundred years. And yeah, you know, I've gone through, I've had tortoises here for four years. I can't tell you how many dogs I've been through. <laughs> cats, you know. Yeah. And the cats live a long time, but, you know, they still, you know, the day I got Aldabra hasn't changed the day. It's the same the day yeah. I picked them up. I said, tell the story. I got him when I was a young man. I'm an old man now, and he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know Adolf shell is more like that helmet shape to it, it looks like. Kind of like how it kind of, like a, like a oh, helmet, the way it kind of out and flares in the back. how he got his name was he was shaped like a German helmet. There you go. But his name is not spelled like the idiot's name. Right. So I didn't name him, and I get a lot of people who say, oh, why did you name him Adolf? Why did you name him? Well, begin with, his name is spelled different. Right. Um, and then he had that name before that asshole. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's so, right. What are you telling me for? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. He's got some good detail. Yeah. He's kind of, kind of naturally. He's kind of like a naturalist. Oh, yeah. Logan, you know how fast these animals grow? Probably really Basically, fast. I'll tell you a little story. So, when these animals are initially, that female lays the eggs in the ground, and then about 100 days later, they hatch out, and they're about two and three quarter inches long. And then it takes them about six months or so to get to about four inches. And from that point, they'll grow anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch a month. Wow. They'll grow somewhere between two and a half and ten grams a day. A day. So you think ten grams a day, 300 days, I mean 30 days, that's 300 grams. You know, that's, that's not quite a pound. Right. Right. So, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing how fast they'll grow, you know. And so typically in a year, they are four or five inches bigger. So you start off with a four inch, and then by the time the year goes around, he's about a year and a half old. Right. But he'll add about five inches in this weather. Wow. Five inches onto his four inch start, he'll be about nine, nine and a half inches. Wow. In the second year, again, they'll go 12, 13 inches. You know, by, by the time they're two and a half years old. Wow. This is where they're at 16 inches or so when they're about four years old. This is this is awesome. This is it's amazing how quick they grow, but then they also will hit their max or max or close to it, and then they still go for another yeah. hundred yeah. hundred plus years. You know. Yeah, it's a good point. They're, they're already full size and still growing. Right. Well, look at the way that guy. He's got his, he's got the pumpkin. He's got the pumpkin lo locked in there. <laughs> he's got his the pumpkin with one arm. Yeah. He's see his guy's paw in there. There's his leg in there. That's paw. His leg. <laughs> Right there. there so the Trying to possess it. He's, he's like, the smart one, that one. Yeah. He's the smartest one. They're like demolishing these things. Yep, they're demolishing them. Soon they yeah. will be gone. Yeah, they're, 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 this pumpkin isn't going to last too long. Let me see. This. Oh, you're fine. Here. It's Here, we like go. It Here we go. Didn't, it's like it didn't even exist. You guys can have it back. I was just trying to get this off. I got it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. A little bit more. There you go. I just love seeing all different kinds of shell types too. Yeah. yeah, look how friendly that one is. See how friendly that one is? Yeah. Standing up. Yeah. And then look here. So look at this one, how nice and round he is. Right. And then there's one in here that looks like a bus. Where's the bus? The bus right there, I think. Right there. That's a bus. Oh, it's yeah. right here. Yeah, you got it. You see how long it is compared to this one? Has yeah. Has a shell shape? Oh, yeah. For the sure. White rings, the white rings around here, you know what those are? Yeah, where are those? That's the growth rings. Oh, okay. Each plate grows separately. So oh, that's the that in between is actually the most sensitive part of their shell is where they grow from. Okay. 
So it's like a tree they have growth for Yeah, it's like a tree with 23 plates. Because that's what you have here, it's 23 plates. Actually, wow. this is 24 plates, because he has that nuchal skew. He's got five of the vertebral skews, yeah. then he has 10 of the um, central skews, and then 23 or 24 of the coastal skews. And that's the pattern that they make. But they have different shell shapes as well. Yeah. I know. Everybody's a little different, you know? Mm-hmm. Some got the fast back, some are more yeah, sloped. A that's a short back right there. Is it right now? 85? I mean, no, 85. Right there looks like a short back. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, short back, kind of comes down a little quicker. Yeah. Oh, they all out, by the way? Here. We got, we got one more Come task, here. Logan. And I'm hoping you're the man that can help us out. We're going to go see if we can find some baby tortoises. Are you up oh. for it? Let's go find them. Okay. All right. Let's go find, <laughs> let's go find them. <laughs> okay, folks, we're going to see if we can find any of the baby tortoises. All right, here we go. Mario, didn't you think you saw one this morning? I think I saw a few. Yeah, okay. Let's check it out. Here, maybe you want to go in and make sure, Mario. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do a walk-in. Hey, all right, come here, get up. Go in there Oh, my. He's going to do a walk-in. <laughs> Logan, you remember, you're looking for babies. Okay, Logan? There we go. Yep. Right this way. Oh, wow. I think we found some babies. All of those? Look at that. And oh, go over there. Let's go by Mario. Go, let's go look at them. Yeah. Help them out there, Logan. Here, you, you want to get wow. some of the little babies out? They're really active. They yeah, are. Bring them out, Logan. Can you yeah. Grab, grab a couple. Bring them out. Sure. They're on the move. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, there Oh, man. I think that they're so small, and they're going to grow so big. Isn't it crazy? That is crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, there's 937. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's the one you picked? I 937 and 941. Yeah. And then I have a couple numbers that I was... Looking at, okay. and I want to see. They're a little dirty because they ate. Yeah, that's. I don't care. Yeah, I think I'm it was. That's twenty-seven. Yeah. I'm yeah, I think it was this one. one. Yeah. For the. This one we're gonna call. Uh, gonna call. Uh, Denali. Da right. D D Denali, because that's a uh, Denali there. National we'll Park, and it also means the high one. So we're gonna name the domey I one. I like it. And then. <laughs> Logan loves the name Tank, so one of them is going to be named Tank. One will be a tank. And then we're thinking another lower wide one would be like Tonka, like the old Tonka trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I thought that would be kind of cool, but we'll see, you know. Got some cool ideas. This is just amazing. There's Look so at them all. Many. I know. There's like millions and millions and millions go. of them. Look at this. Look at that. That is just. It still gets me though, like I said before, how small they are and how big they are gonna get. Keep there. There may be some that are sold in here. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yep. <gasps> they keep falling over. They're yeah. Flipping themselves over. <laughs> it's good to help them Would out. Would you like the videos online? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, we we love it. We love it. The video, videos online, everything, okay, showing you such the detail in them yeah. and taking the time to show the detail because I not everybody gets to come visit like we do. So yeah. ha showing the detail the way you do, I think, is, is great. Yeah, that my, way there's, there's no... I'm sorry, go ahead. My favorite is the ones that they are all charging for the food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 80 charging Aldabra tortoises. Yeah, baby Aldabra charge team. Yeah, that I, I do it because, like you said, everybody likes to go through and pick out what theirs is, you know. It's and like a lot of times when you try to buy from some of the other folks that are selling, you, you just order it and they send you what you get. Right, you know? right. Yeah, it's this like, is... If you have food out there for them, you're like, oh, it's food time. Nom, nom, nom. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Nine. Why are they all going to this one area? Well, they're all going to this area too, buddy. Like, they're all cramming these random areas. They're all over the place. Oh, no. 
need to help you out. <laughs> wow. So what kind of a setup do you have? It's going to be, um, well, here, for, we stop. For the leopards, we actually I'll show you, have I'll a show you the house. picture. I'll show you the picture, Sam. Um, I just went hunting, oh, so. Hunting. Still oh, hang on. There's, there's our leopard, right? One of our leopards. Mm -hmm, sure. And so they're inside right now because it's still. There you go. I was going to say, I even made a. I even made a list of some numbers and stuff, but uh. Oh, at least like nine thirty-seven. I gotta find out who that was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna give you a flip. We'll help. I know you probably don't need it, but we're gonna help you out. Yeah. So we got those two. So is there anyone else interested? Um. I wanted. First thing we have to do is this one. Nine times and then nine thirty-four. 9 10, 944. 9 10. 944. On lookout. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought I did too. Oh, I found. Here's. No. You got 9 10. You think you got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, Mario. 9 10. There you go. Okay. Yeah, he's like flat on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That just got flat. So. That's 9 10, though. Yeah. 9 10. So here's the, well, these wild ones here, those were the three I was kind of... Hey, I'll put them in the sink so you guys can actually... Yeah, okay. that's a good idea. All right. The ones that you... Because they, 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 they aren't sitting still. Yeah, there we go. We just we can see them. All right. So we have, we, we picked these two already and here you go. We'll do that. And then I was going to say... Let's just check the availability of those. Okay. On our final tortoise that we're picking out, what are some things that you're looking for or ideas you have for them? Well, what would fit for the names? Well, I think we were going to play with Denali, Tonka, and Tank. Okay. And I think we have one for Denali and one for maybe Tank, tank in there. Tank or Tonka. We can kind of play with it a little bit. So. And we have some choices in the, in the tub here. But are there any kind of characteristics that you like or you're thinking so, about? For the name Tonka, would you do you want domier? Like, what kind of? It could be like a bigger, wider tortoise, because kind of, I'm thinking like a like a Tonka truck or maybe like a bull bulldozer kind of thing, you know? Okay. Okay. So. What about this one? With this one, is this wider? And a little bigger. Well, that that's, could, a, that's a tank looking tortoise. That's a, that could be a tank. This one could be tank. That's what and tank think is. of this little button right here. It's like his little shooter, psh, 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 little barrel. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. That yeah, could he's be a, like he's like tank. So that could be that could be tank. tank and round. And then this one, because it's a little domier looking. It could be Tonka. No, it could be Denali, because that oh, also yeah, means the Denali. high one. The high one. What do you think? And then the other ones. Tonka. And then then this one here, it's a little flatter too, but you know, a little smaller. Maybe we could call this one Tonka. Because they're eventually all gonna be big, right? Yeah. They're gonna be bigger than they're you are. Big. They're gonna be bigger than you are right now. Like, and yeah, they're, they're gonna be older than me. And they're gonna be they're gonna be way older than you. And you're gonna have to take care of them when mom and daddy get really old, okay? And then probably gonna have to donate to to you know. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Maybe you'll have to donate some of your time when you're older, come down and work on the farm. Ooh. You think Sound that's a good? possibility? That's a, probably a great possibility. That's a good possibility. <laughs> yeah. What, what, if you come down, I want to ask you, if you come down, what do you think I should do with Mario? Hmm, I don't know. He could be a helper with you, huh? He could be your helper? I guess. Mario, you down with that? We'll be a great team. Great team. You're going to do it together. Team. You got it. Because you always want a team, or else it's like you're a doing team. one thing, and then it's like they're doing another thing. <laughs> it's yeah. not very much fun, is it? No. Like, you you got what's doing a batch of, with baths, then you're going to have... And then the other one's going to be just feeding them, and then it's their turn to get back. 
something. Oh, baths. He's giving them all yeah. baths and soaking them. I got them. it, yeah. Little showers. There you go. Yeah. It's cool. Like, it's more like showers for the big guys. Yeah. Because then you use the hose. And then more like baths for the little guys. Yeah. Because you don't want to go like... Right. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. So, well, thanks, Logan. So let it be written. So let it be done. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> well, folks, that's it. That's the Matthew family came down from actually Tennessee. Tennessee. And they've taken a whirlwind trip. And we're lucky enough, fortunate enough to have them stop by here, the tortoise farm, check out some of the tortoises that actually picked out their own tortoises. We picked, here. We picked, picked out three beautiful looking Aldabras. Well, they're kind of climbing on each other, but they're so, there. What were the names, Logan? Do you remember? Tonka, Denali, and Tank. Tank. There you go. Tonka, Denali, and Tank. And they all have a meaning. You know, Denali is a, a city actually in, in Alaska, Alaska, and it has it's a high peak. A high Denali. peak. Yeah, it's it's the largest, there largest, yeah. lar largest peak in it, North America. But it means something. It means the high one. The high one. That's what it was. And that's for our dome, dome looking one. We'll higher, higher peak. We thought right. it would be kind of appropriate. Right. So that's a really neat fact. They were here at the farm today. We had a blast with them. What did you guys think? Any last minute impressions of what you thought of the farm, what you thought of the animals? Um, the farm was great. You guys should come here. <laughs> you yeah. heard it. <laughs> you heard it. How do you, how do you follow that? I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm speechless. He's an, he's an anchor man. <laughs> That's what we call a wrap, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Bye.